Hey guys, this is Joyce here and welcome to this new video. I know I've been away from YouTube for a while, but I have good reasons for that because I was in the process of building a course on high ticket affiliate marketing that I will be selling later. Well, for those who are new to my channel and um, who don't know me, my name is Joyce Mito and I do create videos that actually help you make money online as well as talk about assets that are going to help you um, to build your online business as well as talk about affiliate marketing and talk about network marketing. And I do show you ways that actually can expedite your business progress online and make you money. So if you like such content, make sure to subscribe and let's dive into this video. So this video is actually an interview I did with a dream call winner of ClickFunnels and he describes in details his journey on how he was able to go from negative $444 in the bank to earning six figures in just four months using ClickFunnels. And um, those who don't know what a ClickFunnels dream call winner is, it's an affiliate of ClickFunnels who was able to, at uh, to bring at least 100 ClickFunnels active users through his affiliate link. So without further ado guys, let's jump on the interview and stay till the end because we are going to show you guys how you can actually achieve the same thing. So let's go for it. Hello everybody. So um, welcome to this interview, everyone. Um, before we get started, so um, let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever um, thought about quitting your job and starting your online business. Well, I have, and thanks to that, we are here. So today I'm having an honor and chance to uh, interview ClickFunnels Dream Car winner, Mr. Doug Barton. And he, he came here to share his exact strategy to sell anything online without paid ads. So everyone, please, Welcome, Mr. Doug Bouton here on this call. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Good to be here. So, everyone, uh, please, uh, if you are watching this video live, do me a favor, just comment hashtag live and do tell me where you guys are from. And yeah, so also feel free to ask us any question that you might have and Doug will uh, help you guys with uh, the answer because we'll be having a Q&A session at the end of this um, and this video. And Doug, I have a few questions for you. Yeah, and sure. I know you are planning to show us a training here in a few minutes, but I am curious, how did you first get yourself started with your very first business? Yeah, so uh, it's funny, like, you know, most people that are in this group, I assume, want to make more money, right? I think most human beings want to make more money, no matter how successful we are in life. I find that we always crave more. And I think that craving comes for more freedom. And obviously we can't have freedom without the resources to allow for that. Um, so for me, like my, um, my motivation really came from a, a bad place, to be honest. It was uh, because of all my student loan debt. And I just felt like I had to do something to pay off that, that debt. Um, so, you know, if you ever heard the, the phrase, the obstacle is the way, I never thought I'd ever say it's in a million years, but I'm so grateful for the debt I acquired from going to college because I don't think I would have ever gone down this path. Um, but yeah, it was in my senior year at college and I got called to the bursars who are um, in charge of the finances. And they said, Doug, you have to get um, another student loan to finish out your tuition here. And they couldn't allow my current co-signer to sign. I needed another co-signer, which I couldn't produce. So I ended up dropping out of college just shy of my degree. And um, I had $56,000 of student loan debt. Uh, I get home, uh, I moved back to Connecticut, started working 100% sales uh, job, 100% commission sales job, going door to door. And that, I, I was a really uh, one of the top people in the company, like consistently ranked top 10 out of 800 people in the company in sales. And I still couldn't pay the bills I had. So I went out and got a restaurant job, actually two restaurant jobs. So now I'm working three jobs, still can't keep up my bills and i'm like this isn't okay like i'm a hard worker and i shouldn't be struggling this much to be paying my bills and at that point i didn't even have my student loan repayment and plan yet 
So of course, when it rains, it pours. I got a phone call from Sally May, and they're like, "Hey, Doug, uh, time to start paying back your hundred and fourteen thousand dollars student loan." And I like lost my shit. Excuse my language, but I like freaked out. And I said, "No, like I had fifty six thousand dollars. Where are you getting that number from?" And they're showing me the interest that I had acquired in those four years, and it blew my mind. So um, that really got me fired up and sparked my search for making money online. And I came across uh, network marketing. So I'm no longer involved in network marketing, but it was really a great first experience to start online business with such low overhead. So yeah, that was my first real business online was uh, ACN, it was called. Yeah. So um, the, the next question, um, exactly how many Athens did you, did you take? Did, you, did it take you before you found the success that you have today mm -hmm. yeah. online? Yeah, um, it took me many attempts. Like if you guys are watching right now, I'd love to know how many attempts have you had? Comment below, um, like what attempt are you on right now? Because I know most entrepreneurs like ourselves that we have busy minds. We are always trying to search for something to uh, be working on. And that was my biggest struggle in the beginning was shiny object syndrome, right? I jumped from company to company. Um, I was trying to sell so many different products. I mean, I was trying to, um, Let's see some of the, I was selling funnels. I was selling MLM businesses. I even tried to sell fidget spinners when those were hot. Like I was trying to do physical products with e-commerce and drop shipping and um, paying for ads. And I was drying out my, my, my savings and I really struggled. Um, but it was funny because I just moved to California recently. And um, when I moved, I got rid of all my belongings back east. And whatever I couldn't fit in my car to ship out, I got rid of. And one of the things I came across was a box of all the things I used to sell, like these supplements and all the physical things and even like the um, eBooks and stuff. And I counted, there was 27 things that I actually had sold at one point before I found ClickFunnels. So yeah, um, that's what entrepreneurship is. It's ups and downs, but it's when you stay consistent and you focus on one thing, that's really where I found success from. So um, what when when was it when you came across ClickFunnels and uh, how did that change everything for you? Yeah. Does everybody here know what ClickFunnels is, by the way, for the most part? They should, right? I imagine. Well, let me explain. If you don't know what ClickFunnels is, it's an online software tool that uh, I know Joyce uses, I use, and most online entrepreneurs uh, in our circles are using because it's a simple software that allows you to build websites, landing pages, allows you to grow your email list, and uh, do email automations. So um, I found ClickFunnels, and at the time I was building out uh, websites, not only for myself, but other people, and I was using WordPress, which completely confused me. I know some of you guys watching that know WordPress, you're like, wow, this kid just not be, must not be smart or something, but I, you know, I felt like I was dumb when it came to WordPress. It was hard to figure out. Um, but when I saw ClickFunnels and how easy it was to build out a website and a landing page, and I could also build my email list with that product, um, I was sold. Um, but I didn't have success with it right away because again, I was dabbling with trying to build out funnels for fidget spinners and stuff like that. Like I just tried all these methods. Um, but what really landed for me eventually was, um, building out websites for local businesses using click funnels. Um, so that was kind of the strategy I went about and started building out done for you services with uh, the software. Awesome. Awesome. Um, a final question that I've prepared. So. Um, uh, you, you actually have a process that you follow, right? To help others do exactly what uh, you did back in, and I believe it's January 2019, mm -hmm. uh, when you were starting up, right? So, uh, do you mind sharing that, that, that exact process, how it looks like? Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna get into a training real quick. And I just wanted to like, let you guys know about like the path I decided to go. Awesome. So I was selling websites and funnels to local businesses. Um, at this time, it was October 2018, and I was working full-time in a restaurant. It was my only job at the time, plus I was doing some marketing stuff in, on the side. And um, I just got fed up with working 60 hours a week as a server, and I knew that I could make money with this thing called ClickFunnels. And uh, the whole thing I was doing was signing up clients, building out their websites, and I got six clients at that time, quit my job in November, uh, 30th, 2018. And um, in two months, I went negative in the bank. So you probably thought it was gonna be the opposite, right? You probably thought I was gonna crush it. No, I struggled with the client services. Uh, my clients weren't calling me back. They weren't paying their bills. And I went negative in the bank in January. And from there, I freaked out. I'm like, I don't wanna go wait tables again. 
what can I do? Like, I'm tired of taking on client work. I don't want to grow a team. So what can I do? And the answer I found myself answering that question was, well, I love that affiliate commission I make from ClickFunnels every month when my clients pay their subscription costs. Um, and my goal was to get to 100 users in ClickFunnels uh, as fast as possible. And if you guys know ClickFunnels, they have a dream car program. So when you hit 100 people sold on that software, you get one of these little bad boys. And the trophy's cool awesome. and all, but what this represents is they pay for my car payment every month, a thousand bucks a month, I could use towards any car payment or lease. And um, I did it in 66 days without paid ads with this process I'm gonna show you guys right now. You guys excited to see it? Let me know in the comments awesome. below and uh, I'll, sh I'll share my screen, we'll jump right into it. Awesome, awesome. Yes, sir, here we go. Yeah, so being an affiliate for ClickFunnels was far better for me than servicing my clients um, and, and taking those phone calls and feeling like I have many bosses, not just one, right? So cool, Joyce, I just added that to the bottom. If you just pop that right up, we'll, we'll jump right into the presentation here. Yeah, there. awesome, so here it is. Right into the work. Right. <laughs> cool, so let me share um, my screen here. And again, if you guys have any questions, even if you're watching the replay and you're, I'm not live right now, comment and tag me at Doug Bowton. I should be in this group here soon. Um, I'll be able to answer any questions that you guys have on this. All right, because this is a lot of information in a very short time. So I'm gonna tell you how we could actually build this out together at the end. I'm gonna show you guys a process. So Doug, how do you create six figures online with a free course, right? It's a free course, how do you make money with it? Everyone always asks me that. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. But um, I wanna also show you guys, besides making money with your course, here's why you should have a course. There's seven ways to leverage it um, that will make you an expert and authority in your industry, and you can easily attract inbound clients and customers using this, this one piece of content. All right, and then I'm gonna show you how to get traffic to your course completely free without paid ads. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering how we do that. And then again, ask me any questions you have at the end. So a quick overview of my online course. Here's a picture of it. I built this with ClickFunnels. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with ClickFunnels, again, it's an easy drag and drop software that makes you build websites, funnels, take payments online and sell your course or host content in a, a password locked area. And uh, to date, you guys can see all the members I've signed up to my free online course in the last 18 months. But the, the beauty of it is other people shared this with more people. And because of that, I've actually grown my email list to over 10,000 people since I started this journey when I was broke as a joke back in 2019. So um, even if you are you know, in a place where you wish you could be doing better online, I'm gonna show you how to take this strategy I've done for myself and go and implement it for your own self and your own business. So in the beginning, I obviously don't have anything to sell. Um, I'm not an expert online, so wh what am I selling? I don't have my own products. Well, I became an affiliate for ClickFunnels and my main goal was to get to 100 users. Now my new goal, I wanna get to 1,000 users because I want more days like this these are awesome days to have, you know, where you make more in a day than you did in a, um, a couple of weeks at your, your server job, right? Um, but I wanna show you guys, not to brag, but just to show you, this is really possible when you commit to one thing and you focus on it. Um, you guys could all be dream car winners for ClickFunnels. 100 referrals is not as many as you think. Um, there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people using the software and all you have to do is refer 100 people to that software. And I did it on autopilot by using this course. Um, now that I'm kind of established online, I've started to gain more skills from being an affiliate. I learned what I like and what I don't like, what I'm good at, what I'm not good at. And I've created my own coaching program now that teaches this. And I've been able to do pretty well with that as well. So as you guys can see here, um, within four months after January 2019, I actually hit uh, six figures between ClickFunnels and selling my own masterclass. And um, I didn't have to go back and become a server. So that was a great day, right? But um, I wanna show you guys how you create one piece of content that's gonna attract, nurture, and convert your leads into customers on autopilot. So let's jump into the seven ways to leverage your online course. Number one is you gotta give value. So when I noticed what other people were doing online that were succeeding in, in affiliate marketing, they were all giving up value first. They weren't just trying to sell something. Um, and when you give value to people, they're gonna know, like, and trust you more than they would if you just try to sell them. You know, in a world where we're being sold every single day with ads, it's nice to actually give value to the marketplace and let, watch it uh, come back to you tenfold. So obviously you have a free online course, right? And the first thing people do, they log into your course. What are they gonna see? They're gonna see that first video. It's your introduction video. 
here's what your introduction video has to cover in four to six minutes. Number one, who are you and why did you create the training? Number two is incentivize them to finish that, that training. What's next for them? Uh, when you're giving out a free course, people, you guys probably all know the, the term, people who pay, pay attention, and those who don't, won't, right? So um, what I did, I noticed like nine out of 10 people weren't finishing my, my free online course, or they weren't even going to the next lesson for that matter. So in my first video, right after I introduced myself, I tell them, hey, like, I understand this is free, but I don't want you to treat it like it's free. I've spent over $10,000 of learning the hard way of all the information I'm going to teach you in this in this course right here. So make sure you take it seriously. And I reward action takers. So when you finish this training, send me a message on Facebook, send me an email, and I'm gonna actually give you one of my paid master classes completely free. So something I sell online, I'm gonna give you for free because I wanna reward the action takers. So now I'm increasing um, their trust and I'm getting them to reach out to me to ask me to work with me further. So it's creating inbound conversations. We'll get into that in a moment. I just wanna show you how to incentivize them. Um, even if you have nothing of your own to sell, just maybe do a 15 minute consultation call where you're gonna jump on with them and explain them the benefits of using whatever you're gonna try to sell them. All right, um, the other thing you wanna ask and address is what are they gonna get out of it, right? They're watching this training, they don't know who you are, they're probably thinking, what's in it for me? So make sure you tell them right away what's in it for them. What is their goal they're trying to achieve and how are you gonna help them achieve that goal? And then walk them through your content in your course and show them how to get the most out of the online course. All right, if you do that, they're more likely to go through the content and actually get to know you better. All right, the second thing you wanna do in your online course is educate them. Um, for example, like I teach sales funnels. People probably don't even know what the heck a sales funnel is when they're first uh, finding out about it. So what we have to do is educate them what that looks like. And here's how we do it. You have to ask yourself when you're creating online courses, who do you serve and what problem are you solving for them? You know, maybe you teach busy parents how to create an online business. Uh, what's their number one goal, right? It's probably to replace their income. So once you know um, what you, who you serve and what problem you solve, you're gonna ask them the, the main goal, and then you're gonna ask yourself, well, what are they doing right now to achieve that goal? And what do they need to understand first for them to be able to work with me? So again, what is working for them right now? Um, I teach online business owners how to get their offline business online, and what do they need to know about that to work with me? Well, they have to know what a sales funnel is. So what are they using right now that actually helps them with that process? I find that um, most business owners or entrepreneurs have a website. So I'm gonna meet them where, they, where they're at. I'm gonna talk about websites, and I'm gonna show them why my process is better than their website. And through those educational videos, they're gonna realize and have that epiphany for themselves that, wow, maybe I should have a sales funnel. Okay, maybe I need ClickFunnels, and they end up buying ClickFunnels with my link. All right, number three, create inbound conversations, right? If you guys are marketing and salespeople, you know that it takes a lot of cold outreach to get customers to buy. Um, wouldn't it be nice yeah, to have people right. reach out to you and ask you for your affiliate link or ask you for your link to your coaching program? So that's a process I've been able to do every day and I want you guys to do the same thing. So I kind of already alluded to this, but the way I do that is in my first video, I tell them when you finish my free content, reach out to me, I'm going to get you a paid course I sell online, I'm going to give it to you for free because I love action takers. So I'm calling out the people I want to work with and I'm getting them to uh, message me, which is freaking awesome. Um, another way I do that is in my longest video, hour and 26 minutes, you guys could see here, that's a long time to ask for someone's commitment if they don't even know who I am. So again, in the middle of this, I stop and I say, hey, just want to acknowledge you and thank you for watching my longest training and to incentivize or to thank you. I want to give you this, this template that we're building out. And in this video, I'm building a funnel from scratch using ClickFunnels and I'm building out a real estate template. So I tell them, if you want this real estate template, send me a message on Facebook, send me a message on my email. I'm actually gonna give you a copy of this. And those people that are reaching out to me that don't have ClickFunnels, we're gonna get them set up to ClickFunnels and I now have a new user. I'm giving them something they could use right away that's gonna keep them on ClickFunnels and using the, the software long-term. So that's a great uh, two examples right there that will show you how to create inbound conversations. All right, if a lot of you guys are new online, uh, one of the questions you probably ask yourself is like, you know, what if I have no results? How do I get clients and customers? And here's how I was able to get over 200 plus uh, testimonials now is in my course, the last lesson, they click on it and this is what they see. It asks them for positive feedback if they love the content. 
So they click the button below. This brings them to my Facebook group and they leave a message down here. They leave a comment. Now that's a, um, a really warm person that knows me. They've gone through all my content. It'd be really stupid of me not to follow up with them and thank them for that positive feedback and then try to sell them my coaching program. So I reach out to them. I thank them for the positive feedback. I ask their permission to use that feedback on my marketing material, like my sales page, my funnels, my, my social media posts. And I'll show you guys how I do that here in a moment. But um, those are leads of people that are really willing to work with you long term. Most of the people that commented on this are people that have signed up to ClickFunnels with me or bought one of my master classes or my training, almost all of them actually. So you make sure you're following up with these testimonials and people leaving these testimonials for you. All right, how to grow your social media uh, followers, right? Um, my main um, source of traffic is a Facebook group, but I'm also trying to get on YouTube. So I wanna grow that following. All I do is put a button below a couple of videos in my course, asking them to subscribe to my channel. And I get people subscribing to my YouTube channel every single day, pretty cool strategy. All right, now let's get to the point what you guys probably wanna know is, Doug, how do you make money with your free course? Well, it's kind of obvious, you guys know I sell ClickFunnels. So throughout my online course, there's gonna be buttons that they can click to start an account for ClickFunnels. That's really the, the number one product I sell besides my own course. Um, another product I actually sell is um, my email autoresponder software called Active Campaign. So you guys can see that here. So I'm getting sales and signups almost daily for both of these softwares that pay me month after month when people continue to use these products. And I find that very few are dropping off because of the training that I'm giving them when they sign up to these softwares. All right, and again, this could work for any industry. Like let's say if you're a health coach, and you have your own coaching program, you could sell uh, exercise equipment, you could sell supplements and protein and, and things like that, that will actually, uh, you're, you're not the owner of those products, but you are partnering with companies that give you a commission when you sell those things. So no matter what industry you're in, you could sell things. Cool, you have a question or you wanna wait till the end or what are you thinking? Uh, let's wait till the end. Oh, yeah. I have some questions. Yeah, almost done. Got, we're almost there. Uh, number seven, yeah. sell products and services of your own, right? So as you guys could see in my free course area, they're going to go through all that content. And then when we get to my paid module, it says restricted. So ClickFunnels lets you hold and um, hide this from people. When they click it, it brings them to a sales page, also creating in ClickFunnels. That I could take payment from them. And these are the testimonials I asked from people that I'm getting on the daily. Um, I could post these to my um, sales funnel to get social proof. So that's exactly how I sell this course in my sleep. I get sales almost daily to this because of this process. All right, so free traffic strategy. All right, you guys can use a YouTube channel, uh, blog, Pinterest account, whatever your, your method is. My preferred method is a Facebook group. And right here is the exact strategy on how I hit ClickFunnels Dream Card in 66 days. You guys ready for it? My number one question I ask people when they join my group is, hey, do you have a ClickFunnels account? Everyone who says no to that question, I reach out to them and get them hooked up with ClickFunnels. All right, and I also ask for their email address here and send them my free online course. So I'm building my email address um, contacts, my email list, and I'm sending them my online course. And then I'm pushing everybody to that course because I know it's gonna help them uh, get to know, like, and trust me where they're going to become customers. So that course is uh, uh, nurturing them to become customers. I've never even talked to these people before. Really cool process. All right. And then I have an onboarding strategy in my group where I tag them in this. It sends them to share their stuff, um, brings them back to a training, and all of this points to my uh, online course. And again, because it's going to attract them, it's going to nurture them, it's going to convert them into paying customers. Cool. So let's jump into a Q&A. And I want to know, um, would you like to build out this exact process for your business? And if that's a yes, um, I'd love to invite you to a free workshop starting Monday, June 29th. It's a five-day workshop where you're going to spend one hour a day with me next week, starting Monday through Friday. And it's completely free. And we're going to build out your online course together. Uh, we did this process last month. We had 800 people register and almost half of them launched their online course in five days. All right. So some people told me they've done more in five days than they did in the last two years. And I just want to show you guys my exact strategy here. So give me a hashtag workshop below. Uh, Joyce will reach out to you with a link to the Facebook group where we're hosting this five day challenge um, starting on Monday. And again, if you guys are watching this and it's after June 29th, no worries. I do this every single month. So make sure you reach out to Joyce comment below this or send him a message on Facebook saying, hey, I want to 
sign up to the next workshop with Doug and we'll make sure we get you a, a link to join. All right, guys. Awesome. So we've got about seven minutes left. Happy to answer any questions that you guys might um, have. Before, before, before this interview, some friends of mine uh, reached out and they were asking, I'm a home cook. How can a home cook do this? Or I'm a graphic designer. How yep. can a graphic designer uh, use funnels like a uh, free course to, to really do uh, get my business on online? And yeah. what, what, what can you say? What, what advice can you give them? Yeah. So a home cook, meaning they cook meals for other people in their home. You know, yeah. it's basically a lead magnet. You got to think like the average lead magnet sucks. Let's be honest. You see uh, blueprints and PDFs and eBooks and all these lead magnets. I shouldn't say they suck, but the people I like to attract are people that like to consume content in a way that I like to teach it, which is through video and worksheets. Um, so to me, like the average lead magnet, we all we download them, we throw them in a folder, we never look at them again. I'd rather give someone more value like through an online course where they're gonna get to know me, like me, and trust me to the point where they can now um work with me. So I guess like for a home cook or a graphic designer, what can you teach people in like a few quick lessons where they're gonna get to know, like and trust you, gain some value from you where they're gonna want to work with you? So maybe as a home cook, maybe it's uh and you kinda wanna point out the uh let me shut my door real quick got the train going by so you got to ask yourself like what are they currently doing are they buying meal services are they cooking on their own well let's point out the bad things about those things and bridge that gap to the point where they realize they need to hire you so your free online course could be something that um, they're going to click and opt into and you want to solve their problem so what's their problem well um, how to have you know three meals a day five days a week without ordering a crappy meal service or without um, slaving over the, the, the stove all night or whatever it is. So you want to get them into your course where they're going to be able to solve that problem by watching your videos. And your videos are going to point out all the things they're doing wrong and then how they can bridge that gap by hiring you. And within like three to five videos, you could absolutely convince strangers to want to hire you. Same thing with graphic designing. Like what are the problems with graphic designers? Well, um, they're expensive. Um, or if I want to create my own, I have a learning curve. I, I just don't have time. It takes a long time. So like how to get amazing graphics without hiring an expensive designer, uh, without paying on whatever your, your statement is, that's your magnet, get them in your course, show them all the things wrong with the current strategies they're doing to build out their graphics and then show them how you could do it more efficiently, more affordably, and then bridge that gap where they want to hire you. So again, this works for anything you're doing offline, online. Maybe you're not even doing anything yet. Um, we could help you find products and services next week in our workshop that you're going to be able to monetize through this process. Awesome, awesome. I hope, I hope um, uh, those uh, the, uh, my friends who are going to watch this uh, have answered their questions. Yeah. Um, if there are any more questions, I would like uh, you guys to, to ask them. So uh, I guess uh, then there are no questions for now. Yeah. Yeah, but if, if yeah, ever yeah. if ever there will be questions, um, exactly. I will gladly answer your questions. Cool. And like we said, hashtag workshop for anyone who's going to watch the replay. Cool. And I will reach out to you guys and help you out and get access to um, the free five days course yeah. where that dog is doing. Yeah. And by and the way, like I know the... I went through that way too fast, but um, you know, thirty minutes it's hard to cover all this. That's why I invite you to this workshop next week so I can really break this process down for you, step by step, click by click. And it's you have nothing to lose. It's free. And even if you can't be on the lives in the morning, I restream the lives at night and I, I'm live in the comments answering questions. So you get the replays every day. So definitely um, reach out to Joyce, comment below. We'll get you linked to that workshop starting Monday. Uh, and I'm really excited about helping you guys build out your one piece of content that's going to track, nurture, and convert your leads. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody, for um, watching. Joyce, you're the, you're the man, bro. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks yeah, for staying with yeah. me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing your time with us yeah, cool. and educating us and all that. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, guys. Uh, take care, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Ciao. Hey, guys. So um, you have watched the video. And um, as you've seen, you're going to get a chance to participate in the five days challenge that is being hosted by Doug himself and um, get a chance to actually learn from him to do the same. So if this interests you, um, I have left a link in the description box for you to apply to be part of the challenge. 
And if this doesn't interest you or um, you're actually looking or seeking how to make money with affiliate marketing, uh, most, right, most precisely high ticket affiliate marketing that is taught by eight or nine figure earners, make sure to check my number one recommendation. And I would really appreciate if you could give me a thumbs up and share this with your family or friends who you know are trying to get an online business or make money online. So don't forget to actually subscribe and check those two links that I have left in the description box for you. So bye, take care, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.